Oh, sorry. I'm just watching the ending of NXT. Uh, oh, they won. To be undisputed error. But um, anyways, welcome to WFSO Bucks Talk. Um, I know I finally get to say whatever because they, they they're a little bit on the winning streak, so that's good. Um. So this, so this weekend with them going against Cleveland is going to be interesting. So it's like they're going to face them back to back. So this is interesting. Um, not a bad game. Not a bad game. Um, it seems like they couldn't stop Demontis Sabonis. I hope I said it right. Like they couldn't stop him. But it seems like everybody else, they did okay on, you know, defense-wise and stuff. But they just couldn't stop them. Like, 33 points, 6 assists, 12 rebounds. And it was like half of the time he was playing center. And, like, like look at, like, Miles Turner only attempt, like, three shots. And they were all from the three-point line. And he's not, you know, taking it into the post. So I think that's one of their um, messed ups was is like they wasn't like, you know, taking it into the post or whatever. And well, with Malcolm Brogdon, um, 12 points and three assists and two steals. Uh, Justin Holiday with 15 points, eight rebounds and two steals and one block and one assist. They said he did okay. See, and like the bench did a little bit okay too. Um, with Doug McDermott, seven rebounds and thirteen points. Uh, although his, although it looks like the three-point shooting doesn't show it, but he did all right. Um. Aaron Holiday, uh, three of twelve for shooting. Um, uh, kind of did bad with the three point. Um, with eleven points and two assists. But the rest of them just didn't, you know. I know, like some, like the other backups was playing in the fourth quarter. Because they um they had that big lead, so like I say, it was a crazy game. Um, but the you know with um like the way they was going with um with it. Ooh, my feet are killing me. I bet they are. Um, what the um. God, oh, you're losing my train of thought. But yeah, it was like in the beginning, maybe like the first three, four minutes, um, they were like back and forth a little bit. Then just Bucks just push it from there, and they led like ever since. So, like second quarter, it was a little bit of a comeback, but it was like they just pushed like like the bus just pushed it like away and. And it's just, it's just crazy. But um, but shockingly, um, like you no, know, they didn't. It's like they wasn't like shooting much or anything like that on the buck side. It's like look at Chris Middleton only had like twelve points and. Four assists and five rebounds. Giannis with a triple double with 21 points, 10 assists and 14 rebounds. Brooke Lopez 11 and six. Um, three of five on the three point shooting. Uh, Dante did good in this three point shooting, so 
that's kind of like the Dante Vincenzo that I wanted to see on these um past games with six he has 16 points, three assists, and four rebounds in one block. Four eight from the three point line. Um, Drew Holiday five and nine to shooting um eleven points and seven rebounds. Three assists, three steals, one block as well. So it's like otherwise he he did okay. Like I said, with um Drew Holiday, you expect more of him him to like score more. But he it looks like he did, but it's just like normally he'll probably would make like more than that. But hey, we gotta check what we can get. Um Bobby Porters with 18 points, um, nine rebounds, three assists, three steals, and one block. Um Tory Craig with eight points and three steals, <laughs> three rebounds. So it seemed like everybody had enjoyed themselves. Like, oh, hold on a second. There we go. Um, it seems like that everybody was having was doing defense pretty good, like with the steals and all that. Brent Forbes with a, uh, I think it's like a season high for him. Um, he has. 20 points, three rebounds, four of seven from the three-point line. So overall, eight of 15. So at least he's, like, making some close-up shots and mid-range shots and stuff. So it seems like he was doing good in that standpoint. So that's what I wanted to see, too. Um, so just them two from the bench and um, – DJ Augustine did okay. He had, although he only had six points to four or six, but he did okay. But um, just hopefully, like when during his games and stuff, he'll be smart to pass and not like trying to get like in foul trouble and stuff. Like, not foul trouble, but getting fouled and stuff like that. Um, But crazy enough, and almost forgot to point out with Giannis free throws um stuff, it was like him, Augustine, and Milton were the only ones that was going to the line. So seven to eight f- from the free throw with um Giannis. So that's pretty good. So it's like they, you know, attack he's attacking the rim and then they attacking them more and getting to the line. So yeah, he's doing great. So I just can't complain about that, but it seems like more of them didn't get the chance, you know, like attack the rim or anything like that too. But, but then again, everything kind of went their way and they really didn't need to. So it was good for them. Um, Next game, they're going against Cleveland both Friday and Saturday. Um, I think it's 630. Yeah. Both games are at Cleveland. 6.30 6.30 on Friday and 7 o'clock on Saturday. So it's going to be some crazy like back-to-back games with these two So over the weekend. So at least you have something to watch on um, Friday and Saturday watching the um, best games and stuff. Um, I know I posted to put the um, go on the real Milwaukee Bucks um, group and be on the Milwaukee Bucks chat. But um. I haven't because it seems like not that many people is interested, but if they do, they'll just pop in for a minute and just talk and just go from there. So hopefully I don't forget, but I will do that. I would do it anyway, just Friday and Saturday, just to see anybody chats or want to talk about the game or watching the game or whatever the case may be. Cause there were a little bit of problems with the game that was on TNT that nobody couldn't um, watch. So, show the game just for the people that couldn't see it. But um, join the Milwaukee Bucks group on Facebook. Well, we're Milwaukee Bucks fans, I should say. So, join the group on Facebook, and we 
we post a lot and so you'll be reading something that we find out and things like that so also there's a good thing that they're having now they're going to probably have people like 25 percent of the capacity in the game so i guess it's going to be like a couple of days and stuff when they make their decision if they're going to do it but they already kind of made their decision with um letting um 25 percent of people in at least have like certain amount of people into like bars and clubs and stuff so that's good news for people that that's living in um milwaukee so good for us we get to you know go out and have fun at least like go to like a eatery and watch the games and stuff like that so because that's what i wanted to do um go to like a burger joint and watch the game so at least we'll finally will i know some people was doing that earlier but at least like more people can come in and do that so that's cool um we're doing a giveaway and i know y'all probably get sick of time you hearing this but i gotta keep on saying this so we can give this prize away so you get an orange hammer fungo pop all you have to do to enter is subscribe if you're new uh, if you already subscribe you can still enter and all you gotta do is comment on this video or other future videos as soon as we get to 150 subscribers we're at 122 so as soon as we get to 150 we're gonna do a separate video and announce the name that's gonna um get the iron hammer fungo pop uh it's around here somewhere oh there it is get to get this bad boy iron hammer fungo pop so as soon as I get this one away, we're going to have another prize. That's, we're going to have prizes all year round. So just stay tuned for it. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Um, Bucks played the Cavaliers Friday and Saturday. So that should be interesting the game to see. So since they're a little bit on a roll, but thank y'all everybody for watching and until the next video.